Welcome to Mason Recreation Center in Lemonster, Massachusetts for the finals of the monthly King of the Hill tournament. This is a two string this is the first string of a two string match. And on the left lane, lane three, you see Phil Clough, and on the right lane, John Woodrum. John is the reigning King of the Hill, having won last month's event. And Phil Clough has survived the uh, match play stepladder to arrive at the finals. This is a, um, a handicap event. I think they used 80% and um, Phil Clough averages 109 in this event and John Woodrum averages 106. So Phil is giving John two pins. So John has uh, starts off with a 10 box um, and when you add the two handicap pins, he's got 12 after one. Uh, Phil Clough has nine. And then John Woodrum has a nine drop in the second frame. And John records a spare second box. Phil Clough is uh, probably a familiar face to longtime Candlepin Bowling fans because he's been around the tournament circuit for a long time. Many appearances on the, uh, the Channel 5 Saturday noon show with Don Gillis and I believe I remember seeing him on the Channel 27 show as well. And there is a strike by John Woodrum in the third frame. Let's take another look at it. Uh, kind of a mixing one three pocket hit and, and uh, all ten pins hit the deck. Great shot. Phil Clough is also a regular on the senior candle pin tour and also on the pro series. I might mention the uh, their averages of 109 and 106 sound a little bit low but that's uh, in this event the handicaps are based on your cumulative average in this tournament and Mason's is a, a pretty low scoring house as a lot of you probably know so 109 and 106 those are uh, that's pretty good bowling. John Woodrum drops three on his first fill ball in the fourth frame, filling in that strike that he recorded in the third. And that goes. Wow, that is a, a his uh, third consecutive mark. You can see on the replay how this goes. The head pin comes to off the side wall and knocks the seven pin forward into the four. Great shot right there. So John Woodrum is off to a big lead in the early going against Bill Clough. He's got 62 plus the, uh, sp plus the fill ball. So now he's, uh, he adds six. So he's got 68 through four to 37 for, for Phil. Phil drops six. And John is looking at the one five, nine, and ten with some wood. And he makes that spare. That's uh, that's a great shot. Let's take a look at it on replay. I apologize for the slightly jumpy video. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I, uh, the, we had the camera sitting on the scoring projector and I think it might be trying to stabilize the image a little bit because the uh, projector is a little wiggly. In any case, John Woodrum with a spare in the fifth and he has got 78 with the ball working through five as they switch lanes. Phil Clough with 45 through five. And Phil punches out the half whistler and then the uh, piece of wood comes back and knocks down the five so he's got a three drop. John Woodrum with a nine fill, so he's got 87 through five. That's just phenomenal bull and a great shot by Phil Clough for the spare. Oh, it looks like John Woodrum is probably going to, yeah, he's got a, another spare. That's five marks in a row. And let's uh, take a look at this, this shot by Phil Clough on the three drop. Uh, he comes 
in the one three pocket and converts that uh, that spare. Great shot right there. And he's going to need a lot more of those because, as you can see, John Woodrum is off to a, a big lead. 42 pins through 5. And John Woodrum with a strike in the 7th. Look at this on replay. Solid, a little bit uh, high, high of high flush. And uh, he trips out the 4. So that is six marks in a row. So through six completed frames, John Woodrum has 107 to 60 for Phil Clough. And I don't know, I guess some days uh, it doesn't pay to get up in the morning, and I'm sure Phil is feeling that way right now because John just uh, keeps piling it on. But this is a two-string match, so there's still time to come back and there's a spare by Phil Clef on the four horsemen John's second fill ball he's gonna put an eight on the strike so he's got 125 through seven to, to uh, 68 for Phil oh, that's a 50 57 pin lead And Phil hits the head, hits the one three pocket, but very light and just carries four. Leaving the two, four, five, seven, eight, ten. Pretty tough spare. And John with a also with a light hit, but he drops. I think that's six. Two, four, seven, and I think the eight pin is also standing, but I'm not sure. In any case, both guys are going to be open in the ninth. Phil Clough with a seven box, giving him 89 through nine. And John Woodrum with a 10, giving him 144 through nine. And another three drop by Phil Clough. He's got sort of the, the mirror image of that spare that he converted a couple frames ago. John with a seven drop, leaving the one eight nine, and Phil with a good bid there, just a little bit too full to to uh, get the head pin to go over into the six ten. So again, both bowlers will be open. Phil Clough with a ten box for a ninety nine, and John Woodrum with a nine. That gives him a lead through one string of one fifty three to ninety nine. We will be back with the second and final string of this King of the Hill match later.